Hey guys and welcome back. You know, the other day I was in the store and Christmas is now officially gone. Didn't we just have Christmas like a day or two ago? Well, it kind of feels like that. But Christmas is now being replaced by another holiday called Valentine's Day, which is just right around the corner. So it made me think about why do we celebrate Valentine's Day? Well, Valentine's Day is a day where we're supposed to show somebody in our life or other people around us how much we love them or how much we appreciate them. And so I was starting to think about how do we show appreciation or love for somebody? Well, maybe you might show love or appreciation by giving them flowers or candy. Or maybe for your mom and dad, you might give them a hug or a kiss. Maybe for a friend, you might say something encouraging or just hanging out with them. You know, there's several ways that you can show how you love somebody, right? Depending on who you are or who they are. And so in today's story, we're going to see how Jesus teaches us how to love somebody or appreciate them or care about them. So sit back and watch this. Jesus healed Bartimaeus. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd of people, a blind beggar named Bartimaeus was sitting by the road. Bartimaeus heard people saying that Jesus was a Nazarene. He began to call out to Jesus saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many people warned Bartimaeus to be quiet. However, Bartimaeus did not listen to them. He continued to call out, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and asked the people to let Bartimaeus come forward. The people told Bartimaeus, Have courage, get up. He's calling for you. Bartimaeus threw off his coat, jumped up, and came to Jesus. Jesus asked the man, What do you want me to do for you? Teacher, I want to see, Bartimaeus said. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has healed you. Immediately, Bartimaeus could see. He continued to follow Jesus down the road. What a great story. I love how Jesus shows us how to love one another. In fact, we see how Jesus loved whether you're an adult or a child, man or woman, whether you're rich or poor, whether you're a king or a tax collector, Whoever you were, it didn't matter because Jesus showed us how he loves everybody. In fact, he also shows us throughout the Bible how he loves us in different ways too. So uh, Jesus taught us how to love each other unconditionally. That means that we don't put any parameters on why we love somebody. We just love you because, or love somebody because you love them. I know that's a hard thing to believe, but that's the way Jesus shows us how to love. Now, in our story, we hear about a guy named Bartimaeus. Now, Bartimaeus is a hard word for me to say, so I'm just going to call him Bart. Now, Bart was not a king. He wasn't a religious leader. He wasn't rich, but he was poor. In fact, we see that he was, not only was he a beggar, but he was also blind. So he was pretty much the bottom of the rung, right? And so I, I love how the part where when Jesus was coming through, that people were embarrassed that he was calling out to Jesus, that they tried to hide him and keep him quiet. You can tell he wasn't very important to the people that were around him. But yet Jesus heard him and did what? Cast him aside? Walk past him? No, we see that Jesus stopped and he healed him. He was able to see again. Isn't that amazing that Jesus had the time to stop for a blind beggar? Seems crazy, doesn't it? In a world that we live in, that Jesus shows us that we don't have to do anything for God to love us. Think about it. What did Bart ever do? He was blind. He was a beggar, right? Did he deserve to be healed? Well, according to Jesus, yes, because Jesus shows us that he healed, loved him so much that he healed him, right? And he showed us that no matter who it was, he was going to show love to that person. 
And so what does that mean for us? Well, Jesus shows us how God loves us unconditionally. Jesus put no conditions on Bart. He just showed him how much he loved him and healed him. He showed us that no one is more important than anybody else. That for God, God loves us all. And that one more person is more important than that person. We're all the same to him, that, we, that he loves us. So what does that mean for us? Well, since God loves us, we should show him love, right? And the one way that we show him love is how we treat others, how we love others, or how we encourage others, right? Do we do those things in a positive way or in a negative way? Do we think about people like Bart and we try to push him aside, or do we try to help them? So think about it this week as you're going through and you're thinking about Valentine's Day is this. How can I show somebody that I love them or appreciate them? Now, it's easy for mom and dad. You can always go up to them and give them a hug and a kiss and tell them how much you love them. But what about a friend? How do you show a friend that you care about them? Well, do you encourage them? Do you hang out with them? You might even, you know, buy them a small candy bar to show them how much you appreciate them. Well, this week and coming into Valentine's Day, think about ways that you can show encouragement or love for somebody out there. Or what about this? Showing respect to everybody who is out there. No matter who they are, whether you know them or not, we can always be respectful to people. Acknowledge that they're there. Say hello. How's your day going? All these little things show how much you care for people. And we do that not because we're trying to build ourselves up, but because we want to show others how Jesus loves us first. So... You guys can do that. But before we go, let's pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for everything you do for us. How you showed us love through Jesus. No matter who we are, you love us. Rich, poor, boy, girl, fifth grader, first grader. It doesn't matter. You show us love. And God, I pray that each one of these boys and girls are able to show people how to love through encouraging others and respecting others. God, we just love you uh, for that. So God, thank you for everything you do. In your precious name, amen. All right, guys, you have a great day. You know what? If you're worrying about giving your mom and dad a hug or a kiss, these little babies were really good. I love these things. Well, I'll see you later. Bye.